This is Selma Schimmel at the Multidisciplinary Cancer Congress 2011 in Stockholm. Professor Dr. Therile Chevalier, thank you for joining us. And I want to talk to you about your teaching lecture and perhaps some of the information that you can share with European cancer patients about lung cancer. My talk was focused on the management of early stage non-small cell lung cancer. These are the patients that we cure. So it's probably the major issue in lung cancer, if I don't speak about prevention. So once the diagnosis is done, the patient is here, the best chance to cure the patient is to have an early diagnosis. That the place where adjuvant treatments may increase, and we have shown in the last years that adjuvant chemotherapy was active in most cases. The problem is to try to personalize this treatment. And that's, that was the main topic of my presentation. How can we enrich our population? How can we improve our treatments in better deciding which type of chemotherapy or in adding targeted agents? And that's a big part of the discussion of this meeting. Personalized treatments mostly mean biologically personalized the treatment. And most of the important papers proffered in this, in this meeting are focusing on that. And when you mentioned before this multidisciplinary, all these different onc oncologic cancer specialists or specialties coming together, lung cancer is such a perfect example of how all of these modalities work together because that's disease that requires each one of these modalities. And surgery of uh, thoracic malignancies is one of the most sophisticated types of surgery. Radiation with the lungs which are moving is probably the most difficult type of targeted radiation that we do. And we have a multitude of different lung cancers according to gender, according to smoking habits, according to many other characteristics. Professor, what are we learning more and more about gender, the biologic differences of cancer in men and women? Uh, we, we cannot explain easily. We think that there are some hypotheses that suggest that between estrogens and the development of cancer, there might be some differences. There, was not one, there is one American study showing that in women having taken uh, hormone replacement, etc., there was an excess of lung cancer. So maybe there is something, but in fact, we don't know why there is uh, the, the development of lung cancer is so much uh, at risk in women than in men. We don't know. What is the message that you really want European cancer patients and also patients in France to hear from you? I won't speak about tobacco cessation, which is obvious. I think that we are at a step in our, in our improvement and in our research. We are finding a lot of targets. We are getting a lot of new drugs. The problem will be that all this drug will have to be included in the therapeutic strategy as early as possible because the priority must not be to prolong life by one month, which is good for a registration for advanced disease, but to cure more patients. And for that, we have to integrate these drugs as soon as possible. And all the job has still to be done for that. And the research that's currently happen happening throughout Europe, are these collaborative studies across cancer centers and researchers? We have. We have several. The risk with most of these collaborative studies is to ask very simple questions. Mm -hmm. And what we are speaking about is sophisticated strategy in highly specialized centers where the optimal surgery may be done, uh, where the optimal radiation may be delivered. And this is not everywhere in Europe. So you have some difficulties that 
getting large studies that just confirm some concepts like adjuvant chemotherapy by itself, and then the sophisticated centers where you really cure more patients. And I imagine that you have new challenges because it's difficult enough to help patients understand what is chemotherapy, what are those therapies, and now you have to introduce this whole new area of therapy dealing with targeted therapies and the biology of cancer. So you as clinicians, you have challenges to be able to communicate this in a way that patients can understand. What you are speaking is what people in good health think. I think that once you are in the disease, it's pretty different. And you don't ask all these questions. The family asks these questions, the patient not. It just wants one thing, to live, and if possible to be cured. Doesn't want to hear about why. It just looks at the result. So yes and no. People, when they are in good condition, are very excited by all that, but the patients, not so much. So the last message for our lung cancer patients is that it's a disease that we're really seeing serious advances like we have not seen before. Oh, sure, sure. It's a very exciting time to be a medical oncologist. Exactly. Thank you. Very. Thank you so much for spending time with us. Thanks to you. I hope to see you in Paris. Wait for you.